Alright y'all, what is going on guys? And today we're back with another vlog and in today's vlog, as you can tell by the title, it's been like every other vlog. We've just been chilling, relaxing, showing you guys my day-to-day -day life. I'm currently back at school. I have an internship. I have a job. I have YouTube. I have a girlfriend. We got a lot going on. So vlogs are just the easiest and honestly the most fun content I enjoy making. It's just so much easier to just pick up a camera, show you guys my day-to-day. -day. I don't have to sit out, plan a video. It's just like, all right, you guys are coming along with me today. Whatever happens, happens. We might go to the store. We might not. We might just chill at home. We might just do this. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. But to start off this vlog, we do have an unboxing from eBay. Also, I got two like mystery figures from Pop Mart that I opened up on TikTok. So I didn't record a YouTube video for it. So if you want to see that, you can go check out the TikTok. But they are the peach riot ones the ones that I've been wanting and these were the two mysteries that I did get So in case you're wondering like yeah, I, I did finally get the peach riot I know I've been talking about them a lot in the videos I still want to go down to pop mart though one day maybe in this vlog I don't know but I do want to go down to part pop mart Maybe get just one more and I just want to check out the store because I have yet to go down there It's downtown. It's in the World Trade Center So we'll definitely go down there one day and check it out But nonetheless, let's open up this box because this is something I have wanted for so long So in this box right here here we do have a package from eBay now this is a manga series that I have been wanting for a while now like literally you guys once you see me open it you're gonna be like yo I've seen you show that in the vlog for like the past year why have you not bought it honestly I was just waiting to get it for a good price because each volume itself is normally 20 to 30 dollars each because they are bigger volumes so I was able to find this on eBay um, I was watching a few different people's listings and this person had it for, I don't think it was the cheapest, but when I made the offer and they accepted the offer, then it was the cheapest. So this right here, we have volumes one through four of the complete edition of the Flowers of Evil by Shuzo right here. So I'm very, very excited about this. Um, honestly, I might just bust it out and read it right now because i'm impatient and every time i get like there's mom like i don't get it twisted i love all my manga right but let's say i don't know i'm reading like two i'm reading one volume it's like all right that's enough like i'm done like i'll read like one two volumes a day and i'm like all right cool like i might have the continued volumes but i'm like and eh, it has to be like really interesting for me to like keep wanting to go because if i if not i'll just get bored after a while so um like my attention span basically when reading like i've never had the best attention span when reading so when i started liking manga it was like kind of not hard for me to get into but it was like oh like whoa i actually enjoy reading this compared to like a regular book so the first person that really made me like whoa i cannot put down this book was shuzo i literally got, when i started reading blood on the tracks like when was that last year two years ago um i literally bought volume one and I was like, like I need to go to the store and buy the rest. So whatever was out at the time, I think it was like volume six it was up to. About volumes one through six, and I literally read them right then and there. Then the same thing for happiness. I bought volume one, and I was like, oh my god, I need to go back to the store. And I literally bought happiness within like a week, all ten volumes. And I just read it all in like literally that week. Same thing with Welcome Back, Alice. Um, I bought, I was waiting on this series because only like four volumes were out. And like I said, every time I start reading their work, I want to read a lot of it. So I waited. Four, it came out to volume five. I literally got all five volumes and I binge read all five. And now I'm like sitting here waiting for something else, waiting for the next volume of Blood on the Tracks, waiting for the next volumes of Welcome Back, Alice. So I was you know what? Let me just get the other work. I think the only other works I'm missing from Chuzo is Inside Mari. That's like the only other one. And then sh there's some like standalone manga as well. But for like complete series and like multiple manga, um, this is one of the big ones, big books. So super excited about this one. And I just love the way these ones look too. Like look at the spine on these. These are tough and they're huge. So we're gonna go put them next to, I think Blood on the Tracks is where I'm gonna put them next to. So we gotta make some room on the shelf. Whoa. I see she watching all on my page. I don't wanna, she stalking, she turned to a lame. I don't need her, I'm cleaner, I'm blind to her ways. I got money, it's funny, I'm counting up K's. But watch how I get to the bands. You just sit there and watch with fan. What said he wanted a foreign, so I put her on my mans. I'm flat to death, so how could I ever just rest in peace? I punch you with your teeth, and you looking like a referee. Oh, it's black and white spotted, I can tell that you not. 
Okay, so I just left Kino, and as you guys saw, they had a bunch of Horimiya stuff, and I was like, oh my god, no way, like, we've been getting, like, random Horimiya stuff here and there, especially at Book Off, um, but they had all this stuff from the new season, from the Missing Pieces season, whatever it was called, and I got two of the acrylic stands, I got Hori and I got Izumi, and then when you bought stuff, I didn't even see this, but I guess when you buy stuff from, like, any of the Horimiya stuff, you get a, like, free little, like, mystery, like, postcard thing, and the dude at the register was like, oh, you get this with your purchase as well. He's like, which one do you, do you want with a character? They're not supposed to give you a character. You just, they just give you whatever's next on deck. But he was like, I guess I was one of the first people. And he was like, which one do you want? I was like, uh, let me get a Zoomy. So they gave me like this free little like mystery, I mean like this postcard thing. So very excited about that. Um, w, and I got two high Q volumes. So that was a little haul. I vlog, we're back, and I set up the little Horimiya section, so we got Izumi and Hori right there with the little Horimiya piece as well, so, looks really cool, got a little whole shrine now of stuff when I didn't, I used to just have just him, then I got that book recently, found that a book off, and then now we got these three, so, really cool. Alright y'all, it's currently, when I'm recording this, the first day of my internship. In case y'all don't know, your boy does have an internship on um, this semester. It's my last semester of college. It was required to get an internship. I got an internship with a company that does sneaker design, fashion, footwear design. They're like, more footwear design, I won't say sneaker, footwear. It could be like men's dress shoes, women's, it could be sneakers, it could be a bunch of things. But, uh, it was my first day of my internship. I was just sitting and staring at a computer for seven hours um, in a little cubicle. Felt like I was in the real world for once. But um, I'm going to be going to 14th Street right now because it's kind of near it. So I'm just going to walk over there. I want some food. I'm probably check out Strand, GameStop, see if they got the new Hokage Naruto pop. All right, y'all. Let's go into GameStop. I hope they have the new Naruto pop. Wait for the all right, y'all, we just got Naruto for literally, I got my $5 off because it was the that time class? of the month. Thankfully, I got it, you know, before February because I think my membership expires next month. So there's really nothing else I need from GameStop ever again now because this is complete. I've just been waiting for the past year for this. All right, y'all, we're going into Strand. Let's see if they got any new mom. They have Comey Can't Communicate for $4, like all them, literally this whole bin right here. But like, I don't know if I care that much for this series. Like, I think I tried to watch it like years ago, like when it came onto Netflix and I just didn't like it. So I'll probably pass on it, but like, I'm pretty sure it has up to volume 23 in here. We're back at the crib. Let's get this bad boy open because I'm hype. Okay, so we are back at the crib now and we do have Naruto Uzumaki right here. So without further ado, let's open him up and put him with the other six that we have been waiting for this literally over a year now, I want to say. I want to say since like last September, I've been buying them as they came out. So I know they're like they go. Some of them went on sale, but I've been paying full price with my five dollars off from GameStop. But enough rambling. Let's open this because this is like a display piece. Like these don't even feel like Funkos to me. This feels like a freaking like cool statue display type thing. So let's go put this up there. Um, but Naruto looks good. They did a good job. It has finally been completed. All of the Naruto Hokage Funko Pop things are here. So I'm very, very excited about this. And it feels good to have it finally completed. Because I'm literally, this came out like September 2022. And then like all throughout 2023. And then finally now in 2024, this is completed. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. And I'll catch you guys in the next clip. All right, y'all, I'm not gonna lie, it's a few days later. Your boy just had his, like, first real class at school today. Like, I've had online classes all week and stuff, but today is Friday, my only, like, in-person class that's, like, long. Um, it was literally from 9 to 5, um, but I got out a little bit early. I'm home. It's 3-something. We got out at, like, 2. We wound up going to Kino and Book Off, and I didn't know I was gonna go there because, like, I thought I was just going to school and to come home, but I should have known because I was with Kyle and Christian. So me and Kyle and Christian stopped by Book Off on the way home, so I did get some things, as well as Christian actually got me, like, a little Christmas gift. So that was really nice of him. He did get me this Luke Skywalker Funko Pop, which I thought was so cool. So thank you, Christian. And he also gave me one of his Gundams he had. I've actually wanted this one for a while. I saw somebody on Whatnot selling it, and I actually bidded on it, and then somebody outbid me. So the fact that I got this is so cool because he obviously he didn't know that I wanted this. I never even talked about it before, but it's cool that I got it now because this is tough. I don't have any Gundam things, so that's really tough. And then at Book Off, I wish I was vlogging because they finally finally got something i've been wanting so i got two different mangas uh i got two different manga 
one was just another high Q volume because this one was $7.99. So every time I see a volume for $7.99, I'm gonna pick it up. I'm nowhere near volume 43, like in, in terms of like chronological order of collecting it. Um, I have volumes one through 15, 24, 31, and now 43 so and all those I've got for literally less than seven dollars so that's the reason why I have those numbers and then right here we did get one of my dream manga this right here is like series I've been wanting to collect they had it one time at book off and then I was like damn I should have got it so I went back like a day or two later to go get it and it was completely gone somebody bought the whole entire series so I was not letting that happen again um it wasn't the whole entire series this time it was just a few volumes it was two four six seven volumes of it I think there's like 20 something so we did wind up getting OG Fruits Basket with the Tokyo Pop brand name. Oh my god, I'm so excited about this. This is literally one of my favorite manga. It's one of my favorite anime of all time, Fruits Basket. It's in my top 10. And I've always wanted to get the manga, but I didn't want the new manga that they dropped, like the thick ones, whatever. I've always wanted the Tokyo Pop manga. So this right here is a series I want to collect and complete one day. This is like a dream of mine. So Fruits Basket OG. I finally started the collection. I'm so excited. We have two, three, four, six, seven, eight. So yeah, and 10, and 10. I forgot to say 10, but we got a bunch of manga right there. And then last but not least, we do have an unboxing from eBay, which super excited about because speaking of like dream things, whatever, um, when I was at uh, Kino, they had a Haikyuu figure that I wanted, right? And let's just say it's not this figure that I got in here, but it's of the same character. So if you guys don't remember, um, I actually have like a bunch of these mystery Haikyuu figures and I've bought a bunch of them and I've been trying to get Kenma. I finally got Kenma. I didn't vlog it. I was with Will. Will Foreign was here. We filmed a music video. So that video is probably going to come out next or maybe it came out before this. I don't know, but go check that out. We did a song in an hour challenge. But the reason I'm telling you all that is because I don't know if y'all noticed in the video or you'll see it in the video. Me and Will went into Midtown Comics. Um, I didn't vlog again because we were just shooting the music video and the video for that, like doing that one, one hour song challenge. So we did that. Um, and when I was there, they had two of the Haikyuu mysteries and I wound up getting Kenma. So I was like, yes, let's go. Like I finally got Kenma. Um, and then on eBay, I went a little Kenma crazy. I'm not going to lie. So I actually got two figures in the mail coming for of Kenma. Um, one of them is right here. The other one has still not came yet. But in here, his head is literally off. Um, okay. We do have the Kenma pop-up parade figure so I'm very excited about this as you can tell his head is off um, it does come off and on so it's not broken but I got this for like 20 bucks all right y'all I know this is so random but we're in the mall so I'm just gonna take you to a few stores before we head out and see what they got because we're at Dave and Buster's today so I don't got that much time to look but I'll take some clips and show y'all if there's anything this Obito's fire also they got this one the little bird from Haikyuu all right y'all so i'm in true believers and i'm gonna get rukia because she's 30 dollars and all the other ones are 35 dollars. so so we are back from the mall and this is the end of the vlog but i'm gonna show you guys pretty much what we did pick up so i only got this rukia figure that's all i got because in case you don't know i have one other rukia figure but she looks like that so i didn't actually have her in her like normal fit um like just her being a soul reaper so that's really cool um i've been waiting for this one for a while it's been out for a while i just have yet to see it in the city so i saw it there and i was like you know what i'm just gonna get it plus all the other ones were 35 dollars. she was 29 for some reason don't know why and then we also have an unboxing right here that i got off of ebay so i've been on a haikyuu streak recently i don't know what has gotten into me maybe it's because the the movie's coming out in april or i think it's coming out in april um but yeah i want to rewatch it as well so i'm probably going to rewatch it before the movie comes out as well i might just read the manga honestly because you guys saw i've been trying to slowly buy the manga as i see it for cheaper than what it should be so we have a lot of volumes now i'm not gonna lie we got up to 15 plus a couple other random volumes and then i got a bunch of nendroids recently as well like really cheap so i've just been on a really good high q streak i don't know i don't know why i also got kenma the mystery one that i've been wanting for a while so yeah and the figure as you guys saw so we got a bunch of high q stuff so staying with the high q theme let's open up this package and it was like i think it was like 10 minutes left there was on the timer for the bid and i was literally like Oh, what? Let me see. So it was only at like $4. Keep in mind, you know what that means. Once it says that and there's 10 minutes left, people are going to start throwing in their bids. So I waited. I waited. And once, I think it was like a minute left um, on the thing, there was, people started bidding. It went up to like $9. Then somebody said like $9.50. Then it went 10 And me being me, I was like, yo, 
I'm not missing out on this because I'm gonna I want to save a few dollars. This is like a sixty-five dollar Nendroid, and I saw it at Kino the other day in one of my other vlogs, and they just restocked it, and it was literally sixty-five dollars at Kino. So wow, this person packages it really nice though, so, and I was able to get it for twenty fifty. Hey, fifty bucks, boy! So I saved myself pretty much fifty bucks, and we got Kenma. So recently, Amanda said you don't got that one already. Recently, I got his teammate over there i don't know if y'all see him oh, right dang. there we got tetsuru right there so and i have a bunch of other kenma stuff but i was never able to get the nendroid because it was selling out a lot so i'm very excited i didn't have to pay 65 dollars and i was able to get it for 20 bucks and he's pretty i think he's brand new yeah he is brand new yeah, the thing's not even open so this dude was literally just selling it i got it for 20 bucks talk about a freaking steal so my kenma section is going insane and i love kenma so baby what's the vibe hop inside a ride i know you want to slide know you want to slide with me because i'm vibing baby girl i'm vibing don't show up to the party with no violence don't show up to the party with no violence i take you out i 